Hi everyone, welcome to Basic Science Series. This is the fourth lecture of our biochemistry lecture series, Topic Protein Synthesis. In the previous lecture, we learned about H. Govind Khurana's experiments, what are open reading frames and what are start and stop codons. If you have any questions regarding the lectures, please type your questions in the comment section and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Alright, without delay, let's start today's lecture. The topic of today's lecture is Wobble Hypothesis. The scientific understanding of codon and anticodon base pairing provided an interesting hypothesis known as Wobble Hypothesis. It was given by Crick and it suggested four different relationships between codon and anticodon base pairing. The first important point of Wobble Hypothesis is that the first two bases of mRNA molecule will be responsible for the strong Watson and Crick pairing. For example, in case of ADG, A and T will be responsible for the strongest binding. Taking an example of amino acid alanine, where you have four different codons that codes for alanine, and you can see the first two bases are same in all different codons. That suggests that first two bases are responsible for strong binding. Next important point is where you have one mRNA molecule. The codon of the mRNA molecule is aligned with the anticodon of the tRNA molecule and the first base of anticodon and the third base of codon are responsible for the number of codon recognized by tRNA molecule. For example, in case of U or G, there will be some non-specific binding. In one codon scenario, your anticodon, if your anticodon has C, your codon will have G. And if your anticodon have A, your codon will have uracil. So you don't have any other options for this combination. In case of two codon scenario, your anticodon, if have U, that is uracil, the codon can have an option of having adenine or guanine at the third position. If the anticodon has G, then there is option of C and U. In the three codon scenario, if you have inosine present in the tRNA anticodon, then mRNA can have adenine, uracil or cytosine at the third base position. The third important point is when one amino acid has several codons, the difference in either first or two bases will require a separate tRNA molecule. The fourth important point is there are minimum 32 tRNA molecules for 61 codons and three codons, as we know, are stop codons. All right, this was all about the major points of the Wobble hypothesis. If you have any questions, please ask those questions in the comment section below. I will try my best to answer those questions. Please do not forget to subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you and Namaste.